If you are wondering what that sound is, that's the sound of a sports car fully made in Nigeria. This young Nigerian just built his second sports car and people have been going crazy about it. In this video, I'm going to share my thoughts on the car and what I think this means for the future of Nigeria's automotive industry. The car was built by Jerry Malu, a Nigerian engineer who has become quite known for his ambitious car projects. In 2019, he built his first sports car, the Benny Puri, which got a lot of attention from the media and the government. 25-year-old Jerry Malo from Bills is made in Nigeria. Fully Nigerian made. Yeah. A sports car. Yeah. Jerry Malo. of entrepreneur Jerry Isaac Malo. The state government even organized an exhibition so that the car can be shown to the rest of the world. He unveiled his recent car in an event that was live streamed on social media. It was a simple unveiling with few people gathered, no fancy lighting and big screens like we see in other car unveiling events, which is understandable because this is just a car company in its foundational stage without any major investment into it. The name of the car is Benny Sternum, and according to him, the name was inspired by the chest bone, which is one of the strongest bones in the body. It signifies the strength of the car, making it fit for African roots. The car's body is made of fiberglass, which according to Jerry, is for the safety of the users. Fiberglass is a flexible material that can bend and absorb shocks in the event of an accident, thereby protecting the people inside the car. It features a very iconic design with mostly sharp edges and is equipped with a 4.2 liters V8 engine. According to Jerry, the design of the car was inspired by the hair, which is one of the prominent mascots in their logo. Another feature that stood out to me is the Gullwing doors, which is a door design that was pioneered by the 1952 Mercedes-Benz 300SL. I like how they were able to incorporate the company's color into the design of the car. The main company colors are green and orange, so you can see it clearly in the paint job, with a green exterior and an orange interior, giving it that luxury and futuristic feel. It also comes with a complementary umbrella to match. One of the coolest features that I like about the car is the ability to store power while you are driving it, which you can later use to power your house. I think what they are trying to do here is to create more solutions for the Nigerian market because of the poor electricity supply in the country. So imagine buying a sports car that can also power your house. Shut up and take my money! Although some may argue that someone who can afford a sports car wouldn't have an issue with electricity, I still think that's a handy feature to have in a car. Overall, I think this is a well thought out design considering the minimal resources at their disposal. Obviously, this is a prototype so we might expect a further refined version of the car when it's finally out for the market. Usually in Nigeria when things like this are built, we don't get to benefit from them because a company overseas will come and hire the guy or buy out the company. We have seen it happen with this guy who built special drones using local materials. He was immediately noticed by a company from Finland. The company flew him to Finland where he was given a job and further training. But what's special about Jerry Malo is that it will be hard to buy him out or lure him with lucrative salaries because he already has a thriving business in Nigeria. This is not his first invention. Apart from his automobile company, he also runs a company called Benny Agro where they fabricate agricultural machines like tractors, processing machines, seed planting machines and more. So I think buying him out will be hard. The only possible option is investments and partnerships, which is what they seriously need. Because if with the limited resources at their disposal, they are able to do this, imagine what they can do with huge investments. It will give them the financial freedom to refine the product even more. The same thing happened with this Chinese car company, BYD. Back in 2008, BYD was just a struggling car company trying to survive the market. Many car companies didn't see it as a serious competition. Even Elon Musk laughed at the idea of BYD cars competing with his Tesla cars. You're familiar with BYD, which is also on the West Coast. I think they're ramping up production of their electric vehicles. Uh, uh, why do you laugh? BYD is... Have you seen their car? I have seen their car, yes. You don't see them at all as a competitor? No. Why is that? But everything took a turn when Warren Buffett invested $230 million into the company. That investment gave them enough financial freedom to refine their products and today it has become one of the dominant electric car brands in the world. 
Last year alone, BYD sold over 3 million cars worldwide, while Tesla only sold 1.8 million cars. So who is laughing now? Nigeria may seem like a poor market for luxury cars, but I checked some statistics online and the luxury car market is really growing in Nigeria. This year alone, almost 300 units of brand new luxury cars were imported into the country and we are not even halfway through the year. With a growing middle class, the market is expected to grow massively and do crazy numbers before 2028. So if Benny Automobile is able to position itself well in the market, they are set to succeed no matter how long it takes. I think what will really do the trick for them is if they are able to have affordable pricing. One of the cheapest sports cars in the world today is the Chevrolet Camaro, which starts at $26,000 or 36 million naira. So if they are able to build a sports car that is even cheaper with great qualities, they will definitely succeed. And this will serve as a blueprint to other automobile manufacturers in Nigeria who want to venture into building sports cars. I think this is a step in the right direction for Benny Automobile. Obviously, there is more to be done, but this is an inspiration to Nigerians who want to build things. You don't have to wait for some huge funding before you can embark on your project. If Jerry and his team can build a sports car in Nigeria with minimal resources, nothing should stop you from chasing your dreams too. If you want to see more ambitious tech stories like this from Nigeria and across Africa, kindly subscribe to my channel because I have more coming.